Let's add that. Done, done, done. Using D and D stuff in yours. Okay, great, 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 great. Let's have uh, a look at it. So I ran out of time. There, uh, so there's loads more to do. Magic hasn't been implemented at all. There are only two weapons. There are only three sets of armor. There are only two monsters, but you may only see one because of missing features in the encounter difficulty calculation. There's no really no reason to explore the catacomb. There's no end goal yet. That's okay. There's a few bugs. I can still add these, but I need to get the submit. Yeah, fit, fit. The game is not meant to be played in full screen. No, okay. To view the character in game, press the character's corresponding number. Uh, not on the numpad, I'm guessing that means. This confused me and everyone else. <laughs> uh there's a treasure in most of the rooms and none in the passages passages do have some consumables that may or may not help press s to search the tile you're on when you drop items they'll remain on the tile that you're standing on search again to pick them back up you can bash down a locked door but this may set off a trap use a lockpick to avoid it it seems like you put a lot of work into this though inventory is atrocious <laughs> this is how it was back in the day feel my pain uh you can only equip weapons and armor and one of each type. In a perfect world, there would have been also so artifacts to buff your stats a bit. Uh, dungeons are procedurally generated, so they never look the same. That's nice. Minimap would have been nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Along with the reason to be in the dungeon. There are two pre-generated characters, but you can create your own. They will be saved, but game state will not. Also, don't create more than 10 characters. I have not built a safety check, so the excess won't be saved. Or the game will break, or something. Delete the ones you don't want. Uh, thank you, Tom, for the fun jam. I always wanted... Uh, I've always, it's, sorry, I've always been threatening to make an RPG, and this had me going at it for many hours. Much fun. Much, uh, much shoulder tension. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this. I'm gonna, uh, open it in, hold on, this page. I wanna, uh, it's such a pain to get to the actual game page. So, if I go to this, and then I go here, and then I go to Edge, because the games run better in Edge for me. And then we don't run it in full screen. There we go. Oh, you had some changes to the text. Hold on then. Oh no, it's going to refresh a new... Oh, silly itch. Sorry, I'm getting agitated by it. Right, let's go. It's nice that randomizer, but the fact that it just doesn't change it and give you the URL of it. Uh, now I need to try and figure out which ones you changed. Oh, it's a small change. Okay, no problem. You probably said that ages ago. All right, no, not a problem. Not a problem. Let's uh, let's just carry on then. Um, here we go then. Okay, main menu. Create new characters or view all characters. We'll probably view. We, we, actually, it might be fun to make one. Uh, since you've made it possible to do. I think that would be quite a good, good thing for us to do. Okay, so. Uh, see? Okay, create a new character. Select the class 1 to 8. And enter to re-roll. Exchange stat is A and G. Okay, so 1 to 8. We can't do knight. Oh, you may now see the second monster. Nice. Okay, so let's be a archer. I would like to be a human archer. I will be male. And my name will be Danathy. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, oh, I didn't even look at my stats. We're just going to go with it. That's fine. So how would I go back now? Uh, escape? Yes. Then view all characters. So now I can, I can see my C. Here are my stats. Speed, accuracy, luck. Yeah, I'm good with that. Let's go for that then. I like the, the, like the old school navigation of this is cool. Okay, E. So who are we taking into the party? Uh, I would like to... We're going to get rid of A. Hang on, escape, go back. Hang on, A to J to view, uh, control and A to J. So control A to remove, control C to add. Okay, cool. Let's take Cassandra and Danathy in. 
Yeah, S to start. <gasps> this looks cool. So exchange search. Have I got anything on this tile? I press S. No, I haven't. Okay, we're by a wall. Let's turn. Ah! <laughs> oh, what did you do the spikes for this? That's great. Okay, do we attack, run, or hide? Attack. Let's go for it. Okay, goblin. Cassandra. Our options are to attack. Let's attack. Cassandra attacks goblin and misses. Oh, Cassandra! Danathy, you, you're good. you've got good accuracy, haven't you? Come on, Danathy. Oh, I missed as well. Goblin attacks Danathy and misses. We're all missing. It's fine. Cassandra, go. Oh my gosh. Cassandra missed. Dan has missed. <laughs> The goblins misses. What's happening with the accuracy here? <laughs> Making the worst action film ever. Everyone just missing each other. All right, Cassandra, come on. Okay, finally, Danathy hit the goblin for one. Hold on, what? The goblin hit me for six. How much health does the goblin have? Okay, now we're hitting. Thankfully, Goblin misses. Ah, uh, we didn't equip stuff. That would make sense. Well, let's see if we luck our way through this regardless. Poor Cassandra. No, it's probably going to take a while, isn't it? Uh, is there a way for me? Do I just refresh it? All right, F5 to start again. And I think you said the get other character save, right? Let's give that a go. Okay. Um, let's view all characters. Oh, I press C instead. View all characters. Yeah, Danathy's in here now. Okay, uh, let's let's go. We're going in together. So we want to enter. We're going to take the same party in. Start, sorry. And then we need to go to our inventory. I guess bash door. Oh, no, uh, character. So I press one or two. So one. Okay, what do we have? We have a small knife. So let's equip A. Do I press A? Oh, equip A. Oh, I love the interface for this. I really do. As much as it... It's awkward in a way for what we're used to in modern day games. Uh, I quite enjoy this. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then let's go into Danathy. Danathy. Danathy doesn't have any equipment. Uh, that's a shame. I hated every moment of it. All right, let's just turn. I'm wondering, how is there three wall? Oh, I'm in the, that's the back, that's the other side. So we're at the dead end at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Cassandra's gonna hopefully, oh my gosh, it's a rat. We've seen a second, we've seen a second enemy at least anyway. Okay, um, let's try and attack it. Hang on, is there five sewer rats here? Five of them. Cassandra, hit it. Yeah. Bit easy. Okay, one of them's dead. Danathy, attack it. Okay, we didn't kill it. Sewer Rat hits us for one. That's fine. Other Sewer Rat misses us. Sewer Rat hits Cassandra for one. All right, Cassandra, bosh it. Oh, you missed Cassandra, please. Danathy, attack. Okay, we got rid of one of them. Oh, one of them attacked and died, I think. Okay. Danathy's down to eight. Cassandra's down to eight. Okay, only one more damage left. Okay, we finished. We didn't get any... Oh, let's press search. You found two false mora moral? And one wild moral. Is this food or something? Uh, let's go uh, into our inventory. Hmm. Or is it... Oh, I don't know where that would go. Okay, here. Cassandra found it all. So if we want to trade it, I don't, I don't know what they are, if I'm on about. Can we use? Let's use A. I don't know what that did. Maybe we can't use it. 
Uh, if you want to let me know what they are, that's fine. But for now, I'm going to just trade a... I think he's gone straight to my other character. Oh, I just realized Cassandra's an archer as well. <laughs> that's okay, double archer team. All right, let's keep going. Oh, gosh, it's a goblin. There's only one of them, but he does hit for six. We're going to try and attack. Cassandra, do us justice. Attack. Oh, she missed. False moral is bad. Oh. You should have been able to use it. I did try using it. It made a noise. I don't know what it did for me, though. Attack. Okay, we hit the goblin for one. Hit Cassandra for seven. Okay, we've done five damage to it. Danathy's been hit for seven as well. Oh, Cassandra, you need to hit these hits. You're the only one with a knife. Goblin Cassandra, and Cassandra's gone down. Go on, Danathy. Ah, oh, we're both dead. We're both dead. All right, we're going to make a new character. Uh, I feel we have already have an archer. We'd like to create a new character. Uh, a knight or a barbarian? Barbarian sounds good to me. Let's make a barbarian. Ooh, a dwarf barbarian, elf, or an orc. I don't know, what's the H for orc? A death screen would have been cool, but still, no, I'm enjoying this, I'm enjoying this. So let's go orc. Let's go male. Oh, half orc, okay. Uh, and our name is going to be, when I used to play WoW as a, an orc hunter, my name was Dew. So we go for Dew. Okay. So now, oh, the thing is, though, we're not going to start with starting items. So I might actually, as much as I've said that, I might end up going back and starting with the two default classes. Uh, let's enter the catacombs and let's take uh, these two because I think they're a knight and an archer. I think they'll have the right, um, they'll have actual items. Okay, let's uh, start. <laughs> it's okay, Pix. Okay. okay. It's procedurally generated as well, isn't it? Okay, so we're in a corner again. Oh, we, uh, let's equip. Let's not forget. Let's not forget. Uh, Cassandra is going to get her small knife equipped. And Sir Avanda, our human knight, is going to get a large club equipped. Yes. Okay, and we're going to try and run away from the goblins if we find them to begin with. Because they seem a little bit difficult for us. So let's keep going. Oh, for flip's sake. Uh, run? Okay, we ran. We're back in this. Oh, he's, he's here. <laughs> hide? Oh, we didn't successfully hide. Okay. We ran away, but we ran back to the dead end that we were in. So uh, let's go ahead and hope we win. Oh, we missed. Come on, Cassandra. We, we all, we're all missing. Okay, so he's got some more defense on him by the looks of it. He only got hit for four. Or maybe it's just the, uh, the goblin rolled a bit, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, we keep missing. We keep missing. And now <laughs> Sir's dead. He's dead already. Cassandra only hit for one. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to have to just play again and hope to avoid the goblins okay Sandra hit for three unless oh no we're dead we're dead we i'm gonna play again i'm gonna get some some progress through this you no know i'm gonna put the kettle on <laughs> i'm keen to explore So are there, is there still games, hmm, I don't know, what would be a good, complete, balanced game of this style that I might be able to try and play sometime to get like a proper experience of it, if anyone has any recommendations. It could be old, but like, or modern, I guess, but I prefer like this old school kind of style. It's a, it's a genre of game I, I kind of missed out on playing myself.
<laughs> this is seen from uh, a few years ago, modern but similar. So, um, you could always play the original Rogue. Yeah, is is that is that uh, is it balanced? And it, yeah, I guess it would be balanced. I know it, that that could be fun though, actually, because I think that's that's a very kind of epic kind of game, right? In terms of stature and inspirations for so many other games. So it might be fun to try and play through one of those. What it's on abandon what what? Is that is that a site with like old games? I've not actually heard of that before. Alright, um we're gonna have to start with those starting characters. It's all the only choice we've got. But we just gotta avoid the avoid the goblins or at all costs. But the good thing is, though, you could reuse this interface now, Pixario. Hopefully, maybe. Is there, an, is there a chance of enemy even when turning? Sometimes I press forward and it doesn't seem to move me, like now. I can turn, but it doesn't make me go forward. Bash. There is no door. Unlock. <laughs> there is no door. Rest. Your rest was uneventful. I might need to restart this one. Oh, it's a long corridor. No, because I'm pressing forward. A lot, and then I turn around and there's still a wall behind me. We'll, we'll refresh it. Legend of uh, Grimrock. Let me um, make a note of some of these. Because I like there's something really... I think the original Rogue might be a good a good one for me as well. Just for the sake of experiencing like a classic, you know. The same as i always been tempted to play that um, Zork as well. Dwarf Fortress, if you want a text-based insanity. <laughs> I'll make a note of that as well while we're on it. Uh, and I'll put my kettle's bot, so I'll just make a cuppa, and then we'll get we'll get into another game. Ooh, the, uh, the bop. What's this? Eye of the Beholder. I'll add that to the list. I've never... Uh, it's, it's a genre I missed out on, but I think I'd really enjoy it. It'd be fun to play it through on stream one time, maybe. I guess the restart broke the camera position a little bit. I see, because it's actually a 3D game. Yeah, maybe, maybe so. All right, let's, uh, I'll be back now. Right, let's get started. I imagine it gets quite satisfying using the keyboard to, like, learning the shortcuts and that. Personally. Uh, Zhang says, like, Legend of Grim uh, Grimrock is really good. More like the original Elder Scrolls than a text-based RPG. I see. Thank you. You can play Magic Might Magic Online. Classic Reload. Okay, cool. Let me, I'll drop that in the text file as well. Thank you. All right, let's get started. Enter. Uh, let's go. It's also making me want to create a game like this. There's something about RPGs that's just I really have an affinity towards the idea of it. But how to make it fun and work is another question. Okay, we moved. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're just on a corridor at the moment. We should be searching each time we go. There's a door! Okay. 
unlock. Have we got a lock pick? I don't think we have. Oh, we should go to our inventory and equip things as well. So let's uh, equip A as well. Great. We don't seem to have a lock pick. So if I press U, is it going to say you have nothing to unlock it with? The door is locked. Bash it. Ah, oh, it didn't. The door refuses to budge. We just bash it again. The door flies open. Well done. In we go. Ooh. Let's go. Oh. Oh no. What? Hang on. I'm confused. Oh, there's the door. I'm out into a corridor. Is that just like, is that like a window? I think it is, isn't it? Hey, Hexa. Uh, let's search as well. We might find some things. Another door. <laughs> I found a large club. <laughs> what a day to be alive. I think I already have one of those. Which is a shame, but maybe we can sell it or something. I don't think Cassandra's going to do good with it. Crypt like alcoves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's good. Uh, it does look good to me. Uh, this, it really has the style of it. It really does. And the fact that this is 3D and you've made it feel like a proper, like, non -three, a fake 3D thing as well. I love it. All right. The door was open. We could just go through it. We found false morals. They're not good, apparently. And a wild moral. If you want to tell me what I can do with those, I will listen. That's the door we came through. Ah! Okay, sewer rats. We will attack. We will kill these. Attack! Yes, get out of town. Cassandra, attack! Yes, we killed them. Ah, oh, sewer rat hit us. One missed. The other one hit us. All right. Attack! Yes, sewer rat. Farewell. Cassandra, yes. Farewell, sewer rat. They missed. This one's for the lost party members of the other three runs. Okay, good. A wild will give you some health back. Excellent. Okay, let's... We have nothing to search there, but let's... Uh, can we rest here? Oh, we get some health. Okay. So that also gives us health. I guess there's always a chance when you rest, you might get ambushed or something. Or they, they potentially there would be something along those lines. Sorry for the slurpy noise. Okay, uh, let's have a little look down this way, shall we? We are in a long corridor this time. I think I'm back where I started, maybe. Am I? Yes, I am. Okay, we're back in this room. We're going to go to here. We've gone through here. There's a door back there as well. Okay, good. Keep going then. Another door. Ah, oh, it's a sewer rat. <laughs> We can really attack. These are fine. These are fine. There's only four of them as well. Sir Evander is smashing them. Cassandra. Oh, she's found her accuracy all of a sudden. Grinding rats to level up. Indeed. Yeah, I should have a look. Do we get... Uh, is there like an XP that I can track? Oh, we're missing our attacks now. The rats are having a field day. There you go. Sir Evander is taking a hit. There we go. That's the way to smash them. Good. Uh, and for anyone waiting for that they game played, we'll pl I'll be playing one more game after this game. So you're aware. Uh, I will be streaming during the week. I'll play the rest of the games as well. But we're about 60 to 70% through the games now. You asked me, but I didn't have much time for progression, so there's no level up. Okay, that's no problem. I'd still be interested in having a look like, where does it say XP 45? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So And the ac accuracy. So we have slightly more accuracy on Sir Evander. So is there like dice rolling and stuff going on here? So, uh, if I rest, yeah, uneventful, good. Go this way. We can go. I'm going to go to the end, then we're going to search. Oh, no. Can we run? Or hide? Uh, what's going to be the best choice here? Run or hide? I don't quite... Uh, run makes you go back the way you went, and hide means they might go past you. Bow, Craig, thanks for being here. You have a good evening. Successful hide will stop the encounter, but leave you here. All right, let's try that. Yes. 
I don't know which way I was going now. I think it was this way. Ah! Oh! Hide. Oh, we couldn't hide. It looks like we might be in trouble. Oh, Vanda, we needed you to hit. Ah! Goblin mist as well. Okay, come on. Roll the die. <sighs> okay, good. We hit him for three. We hit him for th three. He only hit uh, Sir for three. That's good as well. Sir hit him for two. We're five damage down. Okay, we've done eight damage. <gasps> we beat our first goblin. <sighs> I am pleased. They can hit very hard. They can hit like six per hit. Ooh. Let's have a look. Hello there, Natalo. How you doing, lovely friend? I hope you enjoyed celebrating your Swedish festive time today. I wasn't able to tune into stream. By the time I typed in your stream URL, you'd gone offline. So I'd missed it, unfortunately. Hey there, Ratsna. Welcome along. We're currently playing through Bixario's uh, tribute game to uh, Might and Magic 2. Which is one of the old school kind of RPG, uh, dun like dungeon explorers, with a very very old school interface. We just defeated a goblin, but there's some rats in this game, Bix. Uh, not bit in that though, so be aware. Okay, here we go. There's some sewer rats just in time for the Natalo rat raid. Let's go ahead and kill them. We're going to get him. We're going to attack. Attack. Oh, Sir missed. Come on. Oh, Cassandra missed as well. Sewer Rat has hit Sir for one. Other one missed. Other one missed too. Oh, and Cassandra took a bit of damage. All right. Oh, no, we're missing. Oh, we're rolling badly. We're rolling badly. No, we're the monsters, rats, sir. We're just playing from the monster perspective. Don't you worry. We all know rats are the real heroes. Okay, good. Okay, Avanda started hitting. Good. We have taken quite a bit of damage here, haven't we? Seven and seven, so uh, three and five health down altogether. We'll try and rest and get a bit of health after this fight, I think. If we make it through. Encounters are rolled every time you rock, move. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, we're starting to hit some... Oh, apart from Cassandra, she can't fire a bow today. Come on. Oh, she missed again. The rat's annoying at our feet at the moment. There we go. I want to find a, a place where I can maybe find a new item. We need to rest, though. So, it does rotate. There's a 20% chance for an encounter. You can turn, but change your position. Tickets are okay, that's good. So, let's rest. Good. We're full health. You actually get all the health back. That's nice. Oh, flipping goblin. Uh, let's try and... Oh, we can't even hide. Actually, it's not giving me any options. No! No! Is this the bug? My poor goblin. How I would have enjoyed to fight you right now. We're strong, we're refreshed after battle, it would have been a fight till death. I can't, I can't, I can't do anything. Oh, try and press like A. <gasps> yes, I pressed A and it kicked back in. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, we've hit him for three. We hit for two. Okay, only two more damage we need to do. <sighs> Cassandra got hit for six then. Avanda missed. Cassandra hit. That should be goblin down. Excellent. Uh, Sparky, you did. I played Insta the Fluffs game earlier. We had a great time. And I had a, a good score as well. 29 seconds. Not the best. There were two people who beat me in chat, but still, I was pleased with it. It is very good. I agree with you. Uh, should we search here? Okay, we can get a bit of health back like that. 
I'm wondering whether we should just rest up again, though. Okay, good. We've rested. Hey, Natalie, this game also reminds me of a very old window screen saver called Labyrinth. I think it had a rat in there as well. <laughs> Always the rats. They're the easy enemy, huh? We should be searching more. Oh, I keep finding the, the moral, though. I wonder if there's uh, different types of things that we find. Okay, we got the rats again. We'll take these down. We'll take these down. Oh gosh, the accuracy is is a little painful, but I think it's 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 probably true to these type of games. Inventory, beware! Oh, I I might be running out of space. Thank you. Or well, maybe drop some stuff then. Good chat. I'd imagine if you have different weapons, does that allow you to choose from different weapons when you attack, or or what would the intention be? I guess. I'm glad that we didn't have to quit on that on that visual bug back then. If I'm gonna die, I want to die properly. All right, thank you, Natalo. Thank you for the raid. We're gonna be live for probably another twenty minutes. The rat looks angry. Angry it is. Okay, so let's go to our let's first rest. Then let's go to our inventory. So can we drop uh, B? And we also want to drop B. And then we'll go back and we'll go to Sir. And we also want to drop A and drop A and drop C. Okay. Okay, cool. That sounds good, Bix. All right, where are we going? I can't remember which way. The minimap would be good for that. More rats. Can we hide? No. Nope. All right, let's try and kill them fast then. An inspect option in inventory screen would be useful to see the well the damage of the different weapons. Yeah, that's a fair point. Rat number one missed. Rat number two hit. Rat number two hit. Cassandra's getting a bit of a rat attack on her. On her knees at the moment. Here we attack. How often is on jam? Well, it was my first one, Sparky. Uh, but because we got to one of my charity goals, which of seventeen hundred and fifty, uh, I've agreed to do another one. So, but it won't be. I don't know if it'll be a charity one. The next one, it might just be a regular one. But it would probably be in the summer. I, I don't think. We, I don't want to be running them too often because then it feels like people feel it's a lot of work as well. So six monthly, say it did go really well. 27 entries is super good. I'm very, very happy with it. Awesome. OK, let's go. Oh, rats. Let's see if we can hide off this one. No, nope. we're going to have to attack them. We're, we're trying to I want to find more items. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see through the game a bit. Yeah, how did you... So this is Unity, right, Bix? So is it a UI-based game, but then you render, like, the camera in sections of the UI? Finite state machines inside finite state machines. <laughs> I see. So rats are uh, taking our health down quite a bit. Okay, good. So hit. Cassandra misses. I, I like the... <laughs> it's, from a gameplay perspective, it's a bit bad, I guess. But I also like the idea that I don't really... I get into a fight and then I can't remember which way I was going or like where <laughs> where I was heading, really. Okay, good. Uh, let's... Cause I, I didn't think I was facing a wall, but it must be right. I must turn right here, I think. So let, let's just rest up. Good. Goblin. Can we hide? No. Okay, we miss. Cassandra needs to hit. Two hits. That's like, that's okay, two points. Evander got hit for five. That's a big old hit. Oh, he's missed. He shook from the previous attack. Cassandra misses as well. But the goblin misses. We've got a lifeline. 
There we go. Three damage. We just need to hit. Come on, Cassandra. You missed. The Goblin manages to miss as well. We're lucky. We're dodging attacks like this. No, tomorrow. Evander's missed with his attack. Cassandra misses. And is the Goblin going to hit? Hits for six. So Evander's on one health. He's on the ropes. But he hits the Goblin for two points. The goblin falls. And we quickly rest our weary selves before we die. Now, I had two cameras. One shows the UI. And one is the character that moves around the dungeon. This one renders a very small texture, which I display in the... Ah, that's cool. No problem, Odwinin. Thanks for hanging out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, let's turn right, forward, left, forward. I worry I'm just going back on myself. Oh, we can't get away from him. Okay, good, good first hit. Okay, four damage, three health left. Oh my gosh, what? You hit Cassandra for eight. Cassandra, you need a big hit or you're dead. Yes, you hit for three. Oh no! I tried resting and a goblin appeared. <laughs> Can we hide? No! No! Cassandra's going down! Come on. Three points hit. Cassandra hit. Oh no. Goblin. Okay, you hit Sir. Either one of us is probably dead if it hits again. Okay, hit for four. We are lucky. Three and four is seven. Rest. Oh. It's the first time we got attacked while resting, though. Good. Okay, good. We, we're hitting. We're hitting these. Yeah, I'm glad you're facing the way you were when you go into an encounter. It's just sometimes if I was going to a wall and I forget which direction I was meant to turn, but normally it'd be a, it's whichever way I turn that isn't another wall, I guess, is the way to remember that. Okay, Cassandra hit for four. That's a strong hit, Cassandra. I realize Cassandra the archer with a knife as well. We need to get her a boat. I obviously, for a game jam, I don't expect it, but I think like scrolling text would be good in this to give a bit of flow of what's coming on. <laughs> Hide? Ah, I didn't even recover. Attack! Attack! Oh no. Oh, okay, you only hit for three, Goblin. Oh no, we missed again. We missed again. There's... Okay, the goblin missed us. Maybe we deserve to die if we can't hit it though. Three. It's Andrew for three. We just need one more hit on this. Goblin misses us. We should have this in the bag now. Sir Evander reigns true. Okay, search. Do we find anything? No. A door. <sighs> Hide? Okay, we got past it. I found some food stuff as well. Should we rest? Oh, we found some false morale though, so we want to get rid of that. So let's uh, drop our E. Should we use, should we, should we eat some of our food? Yeah, rather than resting in case we get another, actually no, no, we should probably rest. We've, we've got so much health to be getting. If we don't, it's a, it's a bit of a, a, a risk. Okay, rest. Good. So left and then there's a door on the right. Get in there. Uh-oh, this is a big expanse. Ooh. Studded leather armor is the ones you want, really. Yeah, we, we just need to find it. Oh, but then there's a goblin. We managed to hide, though. Oh, there's rats. Can we hide from those? No. Search the whole room. Okay, I'll go back to that bit earlier and see. Oh, yeah, I need to press S more often. I, I forget about that kind of mechanic. I'm expecting something to pop up, you know. I need to get used to that.
we we will have to pack it in soon so I can get one more game in before we go. Like I say, it's getting late. I got work tomorrow, the first time in bloody ages. Okay, we should hopefully be able to kill one or two of these this turn. Good sir, good job, Cassandra. Good job. There's just one of them left. Mm, sir. Sandra. Uh, altogether, John, there's probably around 10 games left. But if I try and go back to where we were, let's rest up first. We came this way, right? And then this way? This is the room. Search. Search. Oh, that's not what I want. We, I'm just going to be playing one more game tonight, but there's around 10 altogether. Uh, let's drop seat. Oh, we got a bunch of wild ones. So let's just, I guess, let's use. Ah, I guess the inventory management, you did say inventory management was horrible in these games. So now I have to go into turn I gotta go into my inventory and I've got to drop D and drop E drop D again sorry probably do the same here drop C okay search oh no I just picked up the ones I just dropped I'm an idiot I'm an absolute idiot uh, I have eight is it oh excellent Ah, lovely. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, search. Search. <laughs> no! I don't want all of this! I want the armor to make me stronger! Okay, maybe we can just drop all of them. Let's just DB, DB, DB. Maybe the club would be stronger as well uh, than the, her weapon, so... Let's equip A. Oh, I don't think I can. Yeah, that's a bad noise. Okay, she can equip equip two anders maybe. Drop A, drop A, drop A. Okay, good. Forward, search, forward, search, forward. Goblin found us. Hide. No chance. Oh, a double miss is not looking good. Goblin hit us for five. Is this going to be our final stance? We've had four misses in a row, but the Goblin's hit twice, and Sir Evander is down. It's Cassandra on her own. She can't hit a hit. She's panicking, the small knife fumbling in her hand. She goes for a second attack on her own. That's four missed attacks. She's lost her bottle. The Goblin, he's snarling. He's giggling. He's laughing. He hits her for seven. Cassandra misses for the fifth time in a row. She gets hit for five, and she is dead. Catacombs have taken another party. This is a shame. This is a shame. Uh, it's like the ship would write in CS classes in college. The menu's printed in console with a prompt to select. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Unequipped. Oh, that's why I couldn't change the weapon. Thank you for that. But right, okay, we have given it a, a great amount of time. I, I'm like, I'm curious, but at the same time, you've said there's not that much content. You can't level up. You can't go to different... There's not like an end to the dungeon. So but I really what I'm looking for is just to find some items, equip it, be a bit stronger. But we've we've already been playing ages on this one. So um, at the interest of getting one more game done and me having a bit of time before I've got to go to bed tonight, we're going to call it there. But thank you for lighting that little bit of spark of my interest in these kind of games as well. I very much appreciate it. Let's give some feedback. So your game, um, you really captured that old school feel. Uh, it's almost um, unbelievable. It's made in Unity. Uh, despite not being finished, there is a lot of depth. And I had fun against the goblin and the rats. I'm 
got a good taste of these styles of this style of game. Style of game you were paying tribute to. Hopefully you can use some of what you've done for future projects if you ever find the time. Okay. Lavale. No no don't be don't be sorry for it, silly. Don't be sorry at all. Um look at this, fifty six seconds before the deadline. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> 